Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. James 5. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain. We find the account of Elijah and rain in 1 Kings 17, 18. This is where we find Elijah's prayers, first stopping the rain for three and a half years and then praying for rain to start again. 1 Kings 18, the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year saying, go and present yourself to Ahab and I will send rain on the earth. God said he would send rain. And at the end of this chapter, Elijah prays seven times and rain finally comes. Why? If it was God's will to send rain, his idea, his timing, why did Elijah have to pray seven times before the rain came? God has chosen to work his purpose, his word, his will through his church, his people. He still needs us to ask, to pray fervently and earnestly for our families, for revival, for awakening. Will you pray with me for a powerful outpouring of Holy Spirit? Let's pray. Father God, we need you. We need your mercy. We need your great grace. We need your power to restore families who have been broken apart by addictions, by sin, by the cares of this life. Father, we need your great grace to restore our communities, our cities, to tear down demonic strongholds and replace them with your kingdom, your presence. We need your outpouring of Holy Spirit to restore America. And so we ask, fulfill the promise of Joel 2.28 in this generation and pour out your Holy Spirit on all flesh. Holy Spirit, gather those who will pray, those who will pray fervently, earnestly, without ceasing for God's will to be done in our families, in our communities, in our land, in the nations of this world. Let the power of your great grace, your Holy Spirit, push back this present darkness. Heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen.